man. Whew. Yo, so this is the Hisense U8H. This is the 55 inch version. Basically the hottest TV you can get right now. Let's dive in and see if it's worth all the hype. Let's go. I, I'll, I'll get up in a minute. I, I'll meet you. I'll meet you at the table. Whew. All right, so everything you get in the box. Yes, the TV is on the floor, but it is being protected, so don't worry. So first off, you get your safety information and warranty card information, along with the quick setup guide. Here's what the new remote looks like. I prefer the older one, which was more blacked out, but we'll give it a chance. Then you have your AAA batteries. You get two of them. Here are the screws for the feet, guessing two per each side. Here's the power cable. And then here are the feet for the TV. Now, I'm kind of hesitant on how sturdy these are actually gonna be. As you can see, they are super thin. The good thing, you are getting cable management on each feet, on each foot. So there's what the cable management looks like. But once again, these are really really thin wondering how stable it's gonna be but let's get it set up all right so out the box the setup was really easy it's basically like setting up an Android device if you set up a phone you have no issue setting up this TV one really good thing is that out the box as soon as all of your information is uh, input you'll get a software update now, the first software update took about 10 minutes, nothing too bad or crazy, but it's good to see that they are keeping up with their software. Now, before we go too far, full transparency, two things. I paid for this out of pocket. This is not a review unit, so I am not sugarcoating anything. In two, I am talking about this TV from the angle of an everyday user. I'm, I'm no TV expert. I'm no displayologist. I like vivid, saturated colors for animes and deep blacks for movies and games. At the time of recording this, I've probably had this TV for about, I'll say, 12 days now. I've logged somewhere between 22 to 25 hours. Now, I know, not the most, but things have been crazy, so I haven't had time to really sit down and break this TV in. But so far, I am pretty impressed. But I got to be honest, at this price point, I have very few things that I dislike about this TV. This is probably one of the best TVs you can get right now. Now, it's going to be kind of hard getting this TV right now because at the time of recording this, it is sold out everywhere. But if you can add this to your to your watch list on Amazon or Best Buy or your local store, I absolutely say do it. This TV is awesome. Now it is running Google OS. That is one reason why it kind of like drew me towards getting this TV because I'm not a fan of Roku at all. And so it had the Google operating system. So that was a huge plus for me. Everything so far has been nice and snappy, no lag, the key words, so far. I'm not sure if it's going to end up lagging up down the road, you know, haven't even had it for two weeks yet, so I'm not expecting to have any major issues. It has been really good. So I did want to show if I can find it, don't remember where it's at. It does come with some built-in memory. There goes storage right there. So total space, 6.5 gigs. So far, I have used, how much have I used? So I've used about 3.1. I have 3.4 gigs available. Probably won't be using much more than that. I pretty much have everything installed that I'm going to put. I might add a couple things. But you can see I have the basic Netflix, YouTube, Amazon, Disney, Hulu, ESPN, HBO Max, Apple TV, Tubi TV, Pluto, YouTube Music, a browser. Is there anything I'm missing? Uh, Paramount, Crunchyroll. I downloaded a little game to see how responsive it was. Pretty surprised. It is pretty responsive. 
but yeah i probably won't be downloading too much so storage isn't really an issue for me now some of my favorite features about this tv it has built-in google assistant so if you're familiar with how google works it can control your smart home i am a huge fan of that let's do a quick demo so i have a smart light over there okay google turn off office got it turning office off okay google play v does tech on youtube will it work okay playing v does tech on youtube uh-oh, uh-oh. Hey, and so you can see, look at that picture. That picture is absolutely gorgeous. This is what you can expect. And I don't know if you can hear that, but the speakers on here are absolutely crazy. Plus, it is a huge bonus that it comes with a subwoofer. A subwoofer takes up a big part on the back of the TV. These speakers get really loud. Now, most of the time, I will tell you, you need, you, you need a sound bar. With this TV, yo, it gets so loud. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to insert any music or any clips right here. But yeah, you can see that the sound, you have different sound modes. You got standard, theater, sports, music, speech, late night. So far, my two favorite are music in theater you have dolby atmos the subwoofer you got bass boost you have advanced settings now in here you can actually go in here and treat it like an equalizer the speakers on this tv hits really hard they have some really good bass built into this tv so for the 55 inch you may not even need a sound bar I can't speak on the 65 inch and the 75 inch, but for the 55 inch, yo, the speakers on here sound really good. I haven't had uh, speakers that good on a TV in a while. I am really impressed with that. But uh, another feature on here that I'm really impressed with is 120 hertz. What I'm not too impressed with is it doesn't come activated. So if you if you don't play around with your TV or you don't go looking for it, you may not even know that it's on here. So for example, so you can see 120 is activated right now. It did not come that way. So whenever you go into something that's 120 uh, refresh uh, compatible, you will have to hit the remote. You have to hit these three buttons. So you'll hit those three buttons you will go down to you see HDMI format. When you see that, make sure that enhanced format is on because if, if you're in standard format, let's go ahead and turn that off. So it's switching over right now. You can see I have the, it switches back to 60 Hertz. I think that should be like, uh, it should be turned on automatically because if you don't know what you're looking for, when you go to plug in your Xbox or your PlayStation, you're going to see this message. You can see nothing is compatible right now. But if you hit the three buttons, go down to standard format, hit enhanced format. You can see it'll take a time. It'll switch over. And when you go back, let's go back, go back, go back, hit settings. TV display options, 4K, and now everything is activated. I think that is a feature that should come mandatory, already turned on, because they advertise this as being a 120 hertz TV. Why do you have to go looking for it? Maybe it's just me. Let me know if I'm tripping. They also have a cool feature. If you lose your remote, you can go down to the TV, hit find my remote, and the remote will start beeping. So
Oh my gosh, I think I hear it. Oh, there it is. What would I have ever done if I did not have that feature? <laughs> this display is absolutely gorgeous. So this is an LCD display. It is not calibrated in any way. I have been using, so if you come down here, go down to picture, the ones I use most often are Vivid and then Theater Day. I haven't calibrated anything and for this to be an LCD display, so I haven't personally owned an OLED TV before, but from what I've seen in stores, the blacks on here get really dark. It is impressive, especially with not being calibrated in any way for it to come out the box like this. It looks really good. And so, yeah, like I said, my two favorite are theater day and vivid whenever i'm watching anime or playing games i switch over to vivid and when i'm watching movies i switch over to theater day it has been really impressive i can't wait till i get enough time to sit down and find my right calibration now i don't have anything set for like all of my displays i usually just watch a few movies and then I go into it and start playing with stuff. I go to like my three favorite movies and adjust it to what I like in those movies. And then those will be my calibration things. But if anyone has any calibration settings that they think I should try out, hey, let me know. I'm open to suggestions. But so far, less than two weeks, I have been super impressed, especially at this price point. If you can find it or if you can get ready for Black Friday or for the holiday sales, this is an easy pickup. Now, this is one of the higher ones. They do have like the U6H, they have the U7H, and this one, the U8H. Now, I had the older version, which was the Hisense U7G. That was good. This time, I decided to go up a level and pick up the U7, the U8H. Yo, I am not disappointed in any way so far. Super impressed, not having any issues outside of having to go manually look for the 120, which makes no sense. I know I keep bringing it up, but if you don't know what you're looking for, you're not going to be able to find it. Um, something else I don't like the most, if I had to nitpick, I still don't like the feet. The feet aren't making the TV unstable. I just wish that they were a little bit wider. So that way, if you do want a bit of a larger sound bar, you wouldn't have to like find a weird angle to put it. If you're going to mount the TV and have the sound bar underneath it, obviously you're not going to have any issues with the feet. But because the feet are so close together and you can't really change the way the feet go, the one good thing about the feet you can put them on anyway, so you're not going to mess it up. You don't have to worry about that at all. But yeah, I wish the feet were just a little bit wider. Really love the screen to body ratio. You're getting almost no border on the TV. The TV is doable with one person. Two people are kind of recommended. But yeah, overall, two weeks in, really impressed not having any issues. If you're interested, <laughs> if you can find it, the link for Best Buy and Amazon will be in the description below. If there's anything you want me to check out, hit me up and let me know. I'll probably be back in another, in another month or two. Or if there's any features you want me to test out, let me know. It's VDust Tech. I'll catch you on the next one. Later.